city where I go to fence, which is a kind of lunatic sport, but we'll find out about that later. We're going to have videos from Marillion, we've got Wasp coming in, we've got Raven in the studios, but enough of all this, we're going to get stuck straight in. The Priest, Hellion, Electric Eye, let's go. These, which is called an Epe, this is um, a replica of a dueling sword, and again we score hits electronically with a point, and finally, you may even see somebody mad enough to try this. This is the Sabre, and believe me, this one hurts because you can whack people's limbs off with this one. Anyway, back to the music. Motley Crue and Brilliant after this. Now, unfortunately, that band is no longer with us, but seeing as they're great personal friends of ours, we thought that we'd play it anyway. Incidentally, the singer of that band has just re-released a version of Stairway to Heaven in England as a single, and it's been a massive hit, so who knows, it could even maybe happen over here. Right, on to metal news. Underground metal video is getting really, really popular these days, and it'll probably be helped by the release of this new tape, The Combat Tour Live, The Ultimate Revenge, featuring the music of Exodus, Slayer, and Venom. Well, as if all that wasn't enough, there's a new book out this month, Heavy Metal Thunder by Phil Bash. It's got all your favourite heavy metal acts in. It's got Motley, it's got ACDC, Ozzy. It's even got Iron Maiden. And I've read the interview with me that's in here. And believe it or not, it is actually what I said. Amazing. Steve Vai, the guitarist from Alcatraz, is now playing in a new band. He's playing the devil's personal blues guitarist. And he's actually in a movie called Crossroads. He's starring with Ralph Macchio, better known as the Karate Kid. And in the film, Vi, seen on the right, takes on Macchio in a spectacular guitar battle. And if Macchio loses, he's committed to serve the dark side forever. The film is scheduled for a spring 86 release. Now let's take a look around the country at some big heavy metal happenings. Autograph. And Ronnie Dio heads your way with one of the biggest metal stage shows ever. That's Heavy Metal News, I'm Bruce Dickinson, and you're watching MTV's Heavy Metal Mania. And in a minute we're going to have some friends coming in, but now, on with the show. <laughs> Brilliant on that video, and the singer, believe it or not, is a good friend of mine, called Fish. You should check that band out if ever they're in town, because they're very, very good. Coming up next, we have Raven on an interview. And the reason why I'm doing this strange thing is because they beat up pro wrestlers. And believe me, I want to be in shape for this interview, right? Ah! And if we've got a crane! We're in Blade Fencing Centre in New York City. We've got two guys from Raven as my special guests here. Mark and John Gallagher. Hi. Welcome uh, to New York. How are you? Fit and well and raring to go. Raring to go. Raring yeah. to go with this new album you've finished mixing. This is true. Just finished it last night. It's called The Pack Is Back. It should be out in January. Uh huh. And you've got uh, a single coming up from that, yeah? Yeah, it's a cover of the old, old ancient song called "Give Me Some Lovin'." Yeah, I remember it. Revved up it. in eighties, sort of a bit. So why did you want to record "Give Me Some Loving" as a single? Well, we, we thought of doing it about a year ago, wasn't it? Yeah, we thought that we'd give the song. You know, like the song's a great song, and a lot of people like know the song. When it, you know, like in the eighties, so we thought we'd revamp it up and plus it fits our style you know we're sort of like a modern version of rock and roll you know so we thought you know we'd do that and bring yeah. it home to everybody it fits your style you, yeah you we'll just give it a kick up the hint end you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah you do a lot of uh, kicking things around or your drummer in particular doesn't he wacko he's not here is he is he injured no he's sort of locked up at the bronx zoo if you want to uh -huh. around and have a look at him you know because, yeah, because he, he does a lot of very physical stuff, doesn't he, on stage? Well, that's basically the nature of the band. We're a very physical band. I think we're probably the most physical band. That he wears all, you can see this rubbish on here, can't you? All the clothes, the hockey helmet and the gear to protect himself from hitting cymbals and throwing drums around. We're yeah. the ones that should have the protection on when you think about okay, it. On the, last, on the last tour, we, we had a, one show, we had like a, a wrestling bout for a support act just to show that we're the most physical band and that we can, we can go up against wrestlers and anything, you know. And, did, like, the, you know. and did the hockey mask help them out against the wrestlers? Or no, yeah, they, you know, yeah. we won hands down, as usual. Mm. <laughs> I yeah. mean, how can a wrestler compete with a guitar? 
Yeah, that was in, that was in Chicago, wasn't it? I understand. Yeah, yeah, and you blew away the professional wrestlers. So yeah. the papers said. Yeah. All the guys are seven foot tall, but you know, took them on anyway. How did the kids react? How did the audience? Great, you know, I loved it because it's like you know, it's good fun, and it's real physical, and you know, they're really into it. It wasn't, it wasn't really sort of like violent or evil or anything. It was a, a lot of heavy metal gets a bad rep for stuff like that, so we thought it was like you know, good fun. I agree entirely. And let's have a look at something from your last album. It's a video from Raven. It's called On and On. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Fences ready. Raven. Scores Dickinson six, Weber four. Are you ready? Ready, sir. Thank you. Ben. Scores Weber nine, Dickinson nine. You're sensing for one touch. La Bell. Fences ready? Ready, sir. Ben. Give me the money to get home and stuff. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty bad show when you think about it, really. Bruce, we're rolling. Oh, here we go again. Siri, can I interest you? I need, I need to sell. Honestly, I need to sell this album to get back to England. It's really, it's only a hundred dollars. Put an eight-page book on it. records, everything. It's fantastic. Honestly, you're not interested. Drive my numbs up. <laughs> this is really, really, really it important. Looks well. Oh no. Who can I sell it to? I'll tell you what I'll do. I won't sell you it for a hundred dollars. I'll give you it for ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. How that? If Napoleon had had one of these, he would have beaten the English at the Battle of Waterloo. I'm not kidding you. It's got, uh, it's got all kinds of stuff and it's got... Oh, there goes another one. Ah! I got 11 cents. Try and get back to England. So I can find a taxi. You can never find a taxi in New York. 11 cents. There's a limo. A limo! Boy! This is great. A stroke of luck. Excuse me! Yo, yeah, what's up? Uh, uh, could you tell me how much the fare would be to go to London? What, London, New York? No, no, no uh, London, England. What? Yeah, London, England. Well, I've got 11 cents here. Is that any good? Hey, you want to go where? London, England. Okay, get, get, let's go! Oh, right. right. See you, guys. <laughs> you know, this really is the land of opportunity. 